Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? My name is Doodles. I am back once again with a brand new video today. Uh, this time, I'm checking out another video from Mike ADHD. You might recognize his name from a video that I did a little while ago uh, where I checked out one of his music videos. And I am back checking out another one, this time called Boom Bap is Back. And uh, I'm so excited to check this one out. I really liked Mike ADHD's uh, music video that I checked out before. And uh, I'm excited to check this one out too. And also, to let you guys know, a music video featuring Sid Wilson from Slipknot is coming very, very soon from Mike. And I would definitely, definitely be checking that one out because I am a huge Slipknot fan. And I'm so hyped to listen to that song. Uh, but this one is Boom Bap is back. We're going to check it out. We're not going to waste any more time. We're just going to get straight into this song and then we're going to talk about it at the end. So without further ado... Let's get straight into it. So, right, this is Boom Bap is back. Let's get straight into this one. Could not wait for this one. To America's foster children. Mike ADHD. DJ Radiohead. Turn off the radio. I used to like sneak some dog food and stuff and. I'd eat out of the garbage sometimes because I was like really hungry. I can't pretend I'm a humble cat. Let's put an end to mumble rap. Yes, I struggle facts. CDs across the map. Don't forget the bubble rap. Why all of a sudden that song's a more track? Remember way back. I got feet. People wrote lyrics. What happened to that? I'm sick of this crap. The boom bap is back and that's a fact. The whack can't rap. You just say strap like lesbian porn. Call me Wu Tang the way I'm swinging the sword. Can't bump you lays. I'm cutting the cord. I'm way too immaculate. I got the M4. And I'm stacking clips. I'm way more accurate. Better than your average. I'm a crazy savage that likes to cause damage. I used to dig in trash cans, collecting cans for food. I didn't know what to do. Making my dreams come true. Sleep on the floor with the roaches. You're fake and I know this. I'm liking these vibes as well. I'm liking these lyrics. I'm liking this, uh, the floor of the vocal of this song. Really digging it. Who will run you over in a stone scene roller? Feet first, stop at the waist. Got to come out your mouth like a trooper with toothpaste. I watch your bones break. Prepare to meet your fate. I'm sorry for the wait. Gotta hit him with an album. Forget him. Digging this. Digging this track, man. Really. Really digging this song. I can't afford or stuck in a psych ward. I can make it absolutely on point for this song. To Ontario, coming out your stereo. Better check the scenario. Hop on the beat and spit pure savagery. Rhymes leaking out of me sadistically and rapidly. Knife inside tragedy. Why is this guy panicking? I defy gravity far into the galaxy, hiding out tactically. <laughs> oh, I'm digging it. I like it. Mike's lyrics. Mike's lyrics are on point in this song. And that beat, that beat is absolutely killer. I am digging that beat. Yeah, I like in this one, man. I like in this one. Following the suicide of a 76-year-old veteran Sunday afternoon, shot himself outside of the Northport VA Medical Center on Long Island, New York, this past Sunday afternoon, just after he was turned away for emergency care. Damn. Damn, that suicide thing was pretty... But yeah, overall, overall, I dig that. Go. I liked the first track that I did on Mike ADHD, the first video that I made and him listen to that song. I really liked it. I've got to say, I, I liked Mike's stuff then. This one just steps up the game even further. Uh, his lyrics are absolutely on point. That beat was killer. And uh, if he's gone from uh, where he was with the uh, the first video that I did to now, I am so excited to see what he does with the Sid Wilson one. Because when you've got a guy like Sid Wilson, and uh, I know there's others potentially from even D12 uh, on board with a song, then I imagine if the bar's there right now, if Boom Bap is back, it's going to go even higher. And uh, this is, this it reminds me of, I don't know whether it's the right thing to say because obviously he's a white rapper, but I sort of think that if, Eminem was 20 years later. That obviously he got he was, um, Eminem got his starts doing all the uh, the rap battle stuff like that in Detroit. But I sort of feel like if Eminem got his start in 2017, this would be the kind of route that he'd be taking. Uh, obviously he'd probably still be doing his whole rap battle thing if that's still a thing 
I don't know if it's been, I, I don't know if that's still a thing, but obviously with the technology like YouTube, uh, Spotify, iTunes, all stuff like that, uh, now in 2017, I sort of feel like if Eminem was 20 years younger, getting his break in the music industry, I think he'd be doing exactly what Mike ADHD is doing now. And uh, who knows, Mike ADHD could be the next Eminem. In 20 years time, we could be talking about him as a living legend. And especially with the fact that uh, Eminem got his big break by uh, hooking up with guys like Dr. Dre and D12 and going down that route. Mike ADHD has a song coming out with Sid Wilson from Slipknot, one of the most legendary metal bands of all time. And uh, D members of D12, em obviously Eminem was closely associated with D12 uh, back in the day. We've got members of D12 on that song too, coming up in the near future. So uh, that's the sort of route that uh, Eminem took, hooking up with big major label stars and they're forging his path that way. And uh, Mike is doing just that when you think about it. So who knows? Uh, like I said, this could be Eminem 20 years younger in 20 years in the future. You never know. And uh, I definitely am interested in seeing what Mike does after this, especially that Sid Wilson song. So, so excited for this. And uh, who knows? Like I said, a few years time, we could be seeing him all over the TV, all on the radio, playing major label fest festivals. You just never know, and uh, I'm excited to see whether that happens. And I believe uh, the big things are in store for Mike ADHD, and I can't wait to hear more from him. But as I said, that is what I think of it. I like the song. Did you? Let me know down below in the comments section. If you want to see more like this, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know you've enjoyed it, and make sure you hit the subscribe button so they appear in your sub box the next time I upload a video. My name is Doodles. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.